Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I'm here to show you a weapon that is far more powerful than any weapon that has been seen before in Space Engineers that's not been modded into the game. This is a very base core game created weapons like a lot of you guys like to see. Now, of course, this is a cruise missile. Now, a cruise missile, the idea is it's going to find a target off in the distance and fire at it and be guided towards the said target. Now, you've seen mine before and they work on a very manual GPS system, but these are actually aliases from the Steam Workshop. And I wanted to show you these because these calculate with a computer the approaching ship's sort of geometry as well as where it's going to be actually heading so they can hit a moving ship of a target now that is pretty damn crazy and I'm going to show you the laser designator design first now a while ago I talked about designating targets with the lasers of the turrets and this system actually does it It uses these two turrets here to actually calculate the distance and uh, gives a little bit of lead towards the target as well so when it approaches 800 meters into the turrets range it locks on feeding the information to the target into the actual computer and then firing the missile so let's actually get that system underway so we're going to engage that disengage the locks and also engage the command sequence we're also going to switch over to the iron goose that's the ship off in the distance and we're going to start its flight towards us so we'll actually trigger that now so trigger that now it should be flying towards us and we're going to hop in the cockpit so we can actually see how this missile responds so you can see the iron goose is proceeding very fast in this direction and when it comes under that 800 meters mark the systems of the turret will begin tracking you can see they're tracking and we're actually being guided from that turret system toward the target there so you can see we're being guided and we've got an update on the coordinates as we move until we actually impact the target and we destroy the small ship. So just think how deadly a system that could be. But maybe that's not enough for you. Let's actually have a look at some of the other variants of guiding these missiles. So let's take a look at the next designation system. Now this doesn't use the turrets as a form of laser designation. This actually uses a small drone with a sensor aboard it that actually detects, relays the information back to the little cruise missile down here and then it fires it up, hopefully destroying the target. Well, let's actually get a bun and have a look at some of the advantages. So first thing first, we'll start with the base system and we'll activate the drone. So we're activating the drone at the bottom and we'll switch to the camera. Now, like I said before, one of the great advantages of this system is it's going to have a much longer range. But the drawback is you're going to have to get your drone quite close for it to actually pick up the system or the other ship. And you're going to be well in range of that ship's actual anti-sort of shipping weapon. So you've got missiles, you've got turrets that you've got to look out for now. Now you've got that close with the drone. But saying that, I'd rather be out here at a distance rather than be up close and personal with my base defenses getting wrecked by the ship's fire. So now we're actually on that ship's flight path. We'll leave it in position and we're going to activate number seven. That is going to turn on the sensors that would otherwise detect our sensors at base. And we're also going to turn on detect friendly ships. So it's going to detect friendly ships and we're just going to have it basically detecting everything. So we'll turn floating objects on to make sure it actually detects it 100% of the time at this moment. So we're going to leave that menu. Everything else is in position. We're going to start up the Iron Goose on a flight path towards the base. And there it is. And we'll trigger that now. So fingers crossed everything goes well. We'll actually climb aboard. Oh, it's too late. It's already took off. You can see the missile's actually spinning around. It's reallocating its coordinates. You can see the coordinates actually changing as it's being guided towards the Iron Goose there itself. Look at that. Straight into the target and kaboom. Oh, beautiful wreckage. Perfect. That's just what you want from a guided missile. You want it going straight to the target, calculating it as it flies. Destroying. You can see the um, little antenna vehicle there was flying off to a distance to get out the way of that ship because it, I think it rammed straight into it actually. Wow, beautiful. Let's have a look at the final system. So now we've looked at the other two systems, both having the drawbacks and their sort of advantages, we have the final system. Now this uses the laser designation of this turret to first of all point in the general direction of the target, in this case it's the Iron Goose up there, and it then switches to this laser when it gets in that 800 meter radius that will guide it precisely towards the target so this is really cool so i'll show you how to set it up now we're over here we're back at the little bit of a menu and we're going to press one two to start up the command function and set the distance and then we're going to also aim the turret so we're just going to aim the turret off a little bit in front of the iron goose so if it was traveling towards us we'd be able to deal with it that seems about perfect switch back to that 
Now, with the press of number 6 and a switch to the next numpad, we can set the distance. So I believe it was 1,374 meters away. You can see how it's changed that in the distance setting. So that means it'll fly that far away using that first laser before the other system kicks in. Now, we're going to switch back over to here. And we're going to actually start up the Iron Goose, wherever it may be. We'll start one of the thrusters up here. And we'll trigger that now. And the second thing we're going to do is switch back to the other menu and trigger this missile itself. So the missile is actually going to go speeding away from the platform. You can see how it swings around. And at the moment in time, it's got that point of aim. And it's not changing like the previous systems. And it's flying towards that mongoose. Now it's switched over to the other system. You can see how it's curving back into it. And there we go. Impacted the target. Absolutely beautiful. I, I love messing with weapons in Space Engineers. Especially ones that are created without any modification. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and definitely check out this script on the workshop. It is a really big form of powerhouse, especially equipping one of these cruise missiles to larger ships or stations.